Hello, my name is Joshua, and today is July 18th, 2013. I'm going to do an overview on these two camcorders by Panasonic. One To the left, we have uh, Panasonic HCV10 high definition, 70 times optical zoom with a 31.6 millimeter lens. To the right, we have standard definition SDR S50 with a 78 times optical zoom, 33 millimeter lens. Um, I'm going to use the standard definition to show you some things in the inside here. Um, try to let it focus in there. These both these both cameras are set up exactly the same, with the exception of a couple things, and I'll, I'll point them out. They both have a manual power on and off button. Trash. This camera has the long record only. Uh, the high definition does not have that. This is for your RCA and your USB. This compartment here is for your memory. The teeth go out towards the lens of the camera. When you turn the camera on like this, you'll see this light come on. Oh, I guess it won't turn on without a battery. This is an access light, which you'll see that on when, when I do hook it up. Um, this is a a, a par light it stays solid when on flashing when charging and goes off when it's charged this is your selector switch to the right is um, to take footage and to the left is to play your files this is um record button this is where the battery goes on um, oh, i'll get to the charging thing in a couple seconds um this is your manual shutter and you got your right and left speaker um, on the on the top here of the camera you have manual control which is for focus and different things light settings whatnot this is your stabilization button it you know prevents the shakiness this button here is for still frame picture shots this is tight and wide zoom it also is volume up volume down for playback this is your speaker um, to remove the battery you flip it over like this and you pull towards the camera lens and it just comes right off it, it lines up a little off center and then you snap it in you got your um, tripod on the high definition model you have this little compartment here and I think that's for um, high definition television hook up this is what the cameras come with from the factory I bought these basic uh, new off of eBay they come with a 1R battery I would recommend they make a 4R battery they both come with USB connections which for the SD, that's what it is, but for the high definition model, it also is used for charging. You come with the RCAs. And speaking of charging, this is one thing I do not like about the high definition model. Um, there you've seen that it turned on when I opened the screen because I had it on standby. And you might have saw the access light flash for the SD card. Okay, so it's making a liar out of me. There you go. Um, when that's flashing, never remove the, the card. So this is one thing I don't like. They have this, this kind of weird out wall outlet. And this is kind of cool, though, that you can use the USB to charge it. Electricity is actually flowing through this cord. And it's, it's only... Oh, it's only... A, it's not even four feet long and you plug it in there like you would imagine <clears throat> now the thing i don't like about this there's two things i don't like about this um well one main thing is you can't shut the screen well, i guess that would be one thing you can't shut the screen and it's so short of a cord that if uh, an animal like a pet or uh small children would come and they would just knock it on the floor and of course it would bust your camera up so I don't like that setup at all. The high definition, uh, the standard definition model, is more of a setup that I'm used to. Um, on the back here, 
you have a little compart oops a little compartment and you plug in an AC cord which is by 11 foot in length and that's really nice because you can you can if you're filming someone's birthday party or something like a child or whatever child's birthday party or you and your battery takes a dump on you even if you have two batteries that's two hours you can walk around and film with this you have 11 foot of wire so i mean nothing's gonna stop that the high definition model you could never do that because you would have the the wire coming out of the side and you know you kind of be restricted the only thing that you could do with the high definition model to give you more wire would be the the plug this end into a um, extension cord or something to that effect and then it then it really wouldn't be an issue but as everybody knows USB cords can kind of unplug easily and and so you might unplug it and short the camera out even with this 11 foot of wire you could use an extension cord and have there's no limit to how long you could go um the screens go like this for shooting of any desired situation and they go towards they also collapse in on themselves uh i don't like the other thing i don't like about them is they don't have a viewfinder so when you're filming like this, you can't see your friends. So if your friend's like, hey, how am I doing? Everyone likes that, you know, and then they move. You don't know that. And, and you know, you can lose your target very easily. Um, as you can see, hopefully in the shot, the standard definition model, um, unless the Sony is giving it some supercharged stuff here, the color is not quite right in low settings and it's kind of darker and I don't like that on the standard definition model. It's a shame that it's kind of like that. I'll do some test shooting with it with both cameras. Um, the high definition model shows true to life color. Now I know it's kind of deteriorated because you're looking through uh, and there it's doing the face recognition thing. Um, you're looking through a camera through a camera, you know, <coughs> but, um, I'll show you some, the, the viewfinder set up here. This is a directional pad, you know, to access your men, menu and stuff. You know, you hit enter and whatnot and, you know, change your settings there, you know. Um, I'll show you how to delete stuff using the standard definition because I got to keep it rolling here um, this has a directional pad or not a directional pad a um, like a little joystick here I just couldn't think of the name well I only have one picture on here so that kind of sucks so let me take a couple pictures real quick because I can't show you what I wanted to show you this standard definition really snaps the pictures off. Uh, the high definition model is more like that, even with rapidly tapping the button. Um, so there again, you flip the switch. Oh, I want to show you when it's charging. It Well, it won't flash now because the camera's on, but let me do this quick. Um, so you use the analog stick, and first you hit the trash can bin button on the side, and it asks you, what you want to do all scenes select or no and you you move it and you push in just like like with playstation and other video games you can push it in for certain functions and then here is where you push it in to select your scenes and it puts a little trash can next to the ones you don't want then you hit the on the side here and it says yes or no they can never be restored well thanks for telling me that i kind of figured that um and you delete that's how you delete stuff on the camera um, there's no way that you can let someone use this camera and or borrow it and they say dude uh, you had like a thousand pictures in the video on here and they say dude I totally like deleted everything and it, they're lying to you they have to be because they, it goes through so many different procedures to delete that footage or video or files if you want to call them files 
Here you can see it's flashing because it's charging. Uh, pros and cons. Um, I already kind of went over like the color thing with this camera. The color's a little off. Um, this is a more vibrant color. Um, when you go to zoom pretty far out with high definition, it, it deteriorates pretty rapidly. Whereas the standard definition does not do that. It, it holds, holds its thing. However, the standard definition is very hard to control. Your, your image kind of does like this. Your image kind of floats around. Because these lenses on these cameras, the lens, they're not fixed in there like the lens on this camera or other camcorders. They're actually floating in there like your eyeball kind of floats so that's why it kind of floats around and the standard definition is worse for that um i don't know if i mentioned this they both come with their own software this is for the standard definition um for me it was kind of hard to get on my computer to read the files i use xp 2002 uh, when I uh, installed the, the, the high definition version of that software, it crashed my computer. When was Panasonic said they don't know why that did that. I was pretty pissed. I had to reinstall the operating system. And then ever since then, my thumbnails for previews on vo video do not show up. Uh, especially for these two cameras and, and files. If I download a video off the internet or whatever, it does not. I don't know what it is. So that's kind of a pain in the ass because if you have like even just three videos on here and then you load them in your computer and two days later you go to mess with them, you don't know what they are. So I did find some free software that can convert and also help you with movie making because Windows Movie Maker will not play these files uh, right out of the get-go. Uh, maybe a newer operating system like Windows 7 might but um, or Vista. But uh, maybe Windows 8 too. I don't know. Even though I didn't hear any good things about Windows 8. But I'm not talking about operating systems right now. Um, I, I like the HD, but I, I like I like them both. I mean, they have everything has its pros and cons. Nothing's perfect, you know. It, it would be nice if I could take these two camcorders like this, standard on the right, HD on the left, and go bang and smash them together and have one camera and what i would have is i would have a high definition model that could be charged in the rear also i would probably take my old sony camcorder and smash it here so i'd have a viewfinder um with that and having high definition and 78 times optical zoom there would be no complaining on this side of the street because I do not like charging a camera using USB, especially on limited length of the cord. You know, um, the cord is, well, I'll show you. And that's my last thing because I covered everything. Okay, you're giving me a problem here. Here's the small end of the, and it's just, I mean, look, that's not that long. I mean, that's like hardly to the floor. There it is, and there's all my wires on the floor. It ain't even touching my, my, my charging setup, you know. It ain't even touching that. So, well, that's pretty much all I have to say. I'm a little over 13, 14 minutes into this. So, um, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. So, I appreciate you watching, and I hope that it helped you some. Um, I know there's a lot of people that were doing these videos, but they were either, they either were doing it for this one or this one, so I figured, well, I do have access to two of them, so I'll do both, you know. So, all right, well, thanks for watching. Be safe, and God bless.